Hi, I'm Gary and welcome to Jargon Free Help. Now every week, well at least I hope every week, you come and watch this podcast and find out a little bit more about technology. But if you checked out the tutorials, or if you have, have you forgotten about them? You'll notice down the left-hand side of the website, you've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, and many others, including iPhone, Internet, and so on. And I'm building these up all the time. I don't release them every week. I just release them as fast as I can. And there's some really useful tutorials on there, such as Mail Merge. If you've got a list or a database, and you've got a letter, and you want to personalize it or some labels, then you can do that using Mail Merge in Word. You can also combine it with Outlook and send them out as emails instead of letters. So check those out. That's proving to be probably the most popular podcast I've done of all. There's also Excel. What a useful program this is. And there's useful features on there as well. Things like scenarios that you may not know about. Goal seek, recording macros. They can really save you a lot of time because macros can repeat your tasks over and over again. So anything repetitive saves you time. It also reduces the risk of mistakes as well. There's VLOOKUP, which is a very popular function. And there's also one of my favorites, IF, which is also very useful to help you make decisions as well for you. So that's very handy there too. Now, the other ones that you have are things like ACCESS. And all of these are useful tutorials. And I know people have actually said if they're doing exams like the ECDL, which is it, European Computer Driver License, They've actually found that they have helped them remind them about things and actually learn something from it as well. Great refreshers if you have been on a training course. These don't take away training necessarily, but you can learn an awful lot there as well. There's even things on there for the iPhone and the iPad as well. And I'm building this up all the time to include photography and video too. So go and check out these tutorials. Don't forget them. There is this weekly podcast, but the other one, I actually update them all the time. Now, if you want a reminder about that, on the website you can sign up. All you've got to do is give me your email address, your name, and I will email you. That information won't be handed out anywhere else, but I will use it to remind you when things are out there. So, on to this week's App of the Week. Well, this week's app is not so much an app, but the website. Did you know I've set the website up so it works really well? on an iPhone, an iPod Touch, and also it works on an iPad, so none of the problems that you would associate with Flash. So you can kind of think about the website on these devices as a bit of an app, and you could do the same thing too. You don't necessarily need to create apps. You can actually get your website to adapt to working on mobile devices rather than an app. This could be much cheaper to produce, and also it makes people look at your website and stay there rather than going away because you've set it up especially for that device. Now for this week's new tutorials. Well, this has actually been a really busy week. I've added in more and more tutorials for you. There's plenty more for Word, PowerPoint, Access, and I've also got some to show you how to actually transfer email addresses from Outlook onto Gmail. So if you're using Gmail or otherwise known as Google Mail, then you can do that too. I've also got on there more about emails, how to create distribution lists, and how to add attachments and things like that on there as well. So thanks for watching, and happy computing, and see you next week.